I am for life. And we forget that to be pro life is also to help the people concretely. If you are not pro life, you become your enemy. Uh, even if people don't share your idea, but you, he is not your enemy. <laughs> I suppose what you're going to say to that as well, my son, you must understand we listen to the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit told us to do this. And this is the reason why the Holy Father invites in, has created, you know, has launched this idea of synodality. The synodality is to work together through the method of dialogue, listening, discernment, and also this, uh, listening to the Holy Spirit. It's kind of like what we said last time. Has anybody actually fallen for this? Holy men listening to the Spirit so that they can tell us exactly what to do. We have to obey them because if we don't, we're disobeying the Spirit, God, the God of surprises. Friends, this is clericalism on steroids. Maybe we should call it spiritism, like Holy Spiritism. So no longer just listen to what Father says and do exactly what he says, no matter what, but listen to the Spirit. <laughs> How convenient, right? Oh, hold on a second, friends. What's that, Lord? Oh, you want them to give Rendon TV a bunch of money? And you want them to be generous? Okay, we're just in. The Spirit just told me he wants you to give us a lot of money. You see how it works? See how it can be used? Especially by guys wearing the collars and the crosses and, you know? They just tell us the Spirit told them to do it. You know? It's like, like, like Eve telling Adam, well, the devil told me to do it. <laughs> Come to think of it, that's probably what we're talking about. But I do have a question. What do they mean by this? We're listening to the Spirit at the Synod thing, you know? Does the Spirit, what, what does it sound like? Is it a voice? Is it buzzing? Is it whirring? Is it wind? What is the Spirit? C could we get some details on what they mean by this? And who, who gets to, to decide that whatever it is they're hearing is really the Holy Spirit? I mean, it might be a bad truffle on the Borgo last night, right? Well, they tell us it's a Spirit, is it? The Yorkshire Ripper was listening to the Spirit, too. He claims that he heard voices from God or Jesus and commanding him to clean the streets of prostitutes. So yes, the, the pontiff and the cardinals and the bishops and the, Father Jimmy Martin and his friends, the LGBT people, don't forget your Crayolas, Jimmy, so you can take notes. Y'all are listening to the Spirit. And meanwhile, the Holy Father continues to become the golden boy of globalists everywhere because guess what? 